Hey guys, this is Mr. Herbst here coming at you on live and today's focus is going to be on the cell cycle. So what is the cell cycle? Well, it's a series of events that occur as a cell grows and divides. Uh, you can sort of think of that like a clock. Here I have a diagram of the cell cycle starting here at 12 o'clock. Then we got 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10, 11, and then back to 12 o'clock where the cycle starts all over again. You can see here that we have a series of events that occur all along the way. We got the G1 phase, the S phase, the G2 phase, and then the M phase. Uh, so let's go ahead and explore those in a little bit more detail. Um, again, the cell cycle consists of four major phases. Um, interphase is actually the start of the three of, of those four major phases. So interphase is composed of three major phases. We have the G1 phase, we have the, G, the, uh, the S phase, we have the G2 phase, and then we have mitosis. That's the M phase. That's actually where we're going to get cell division occurring. Uh, so again, interphase is these three steps right here. This is where the cell is going to spend most of its life. Um, you can check, you can actually look here. Uh, the cell lives all of its life in interphase right here. The biggest chunk of the pizza right here, all of this is interphase. If you look at my diagram here, all of that is interphase. So the cell spends most of its time in interphase. This little sliver right here, this tiny little sliver, that's mitosis. That's where uh, the cell actually divides. So let's go ahead and explore those in a little bit more detail. What happens during G1? Well, we're going to increase in size. So think about uh, G1 happens right after the M phase where the cell has divided. So G1, we're going to get a little bit, uh, we're going to get the, the cell to start to grow up a little bit, starting to become an adult cell, quote unquote. Um, we're going to synthesize some new proteins, and uh, an important thing to know is that DNA is not visible. It's in the form of chromatin right now, so we actually cannot see the DNA. During the S phase, we are going to replicate our DNA, so we're going to make a copy of all of the DNA in every single cell. Um, and an important thing to know, actually, is that once a cell starts S phase, once it actually copies its DNA, um, it's, it's going to complete the rest of the cycle. So once we get into S phase, it's actually going to finish the rest. Uh, that right here, I want to make a note here, GO. GO, uh, I didn't really make this a major phase. I didn't really talk about this too much. But sometimes a cell doesn't actually um, go through the M phase or G2 or even bother replicating its DNA. Sometimes it, it maintains in this, in this state called GO. That's like a resting phase. Uh, a nerve cell is a really good example of that. Nerve cells will never divide in your entire lifespan. So they never go through this. Nerve cells never go through the S phase. They never go through the G2 phase. And they never go through the M phase. Nerve cells will simply just stay in G1 phase all of their life. So that's kind of interesting to think about. You are born with the same amount of nerve cells that you're going to die with. The G2 phase, what happens there? Well, um, organelles and molecules required for, the, for cell division are produced. So um, we are going to basically make everything that the cell needs to survive on its own during this phase. Think of that sort of like um, uh, making yourself ready, prepping yourself up for that big event happening in your life. In animal cells, centrioles are replicated and begin to form spin spindle fibers. Uh, and then also an important thing to know in this phase, chromatin begins to coil and it forms chromosomes. So actually in this phase we can actually see chromosomes. Right down here on this plant cell to the right here, those are chromosomes. You can actually see the DNA in there. This guy right here, this is still chromatin. We can't actually see the DNA yet. And then finally, after G2, we are going to get the M phase. That's the mitosis. That's where actually the cell divides. So if we have this cell right here, the parent cell, uh, it's going to divide into two other cells in this phase right here, the M phase. It's a very small part of the cell cycle. And again, if you think about it, uh, cell division, the actual dividing, is not too complicated. But every, all the events that lead up to the dividing are pretty complicated. Let's go ahead and review that a little bit. G1 phase, where we're going to get uh, synthesizing new proteins and the cell is going to grow up. And uh, then the S phase, where we're going to get DNA synthesis. We're going to make a new copy. And then finally the G2 phase, where we're going to make all the necessary organelles for the cell to survive on its own. And then the M phase is where the cell is actually going to divide. 
Now, uh, the life, the, the cell cycle is a little bit complicated. Think of it like this. If you're going to put on a play, how long does a play last? Uh, or, or if you're making a movie, how long does a movie last? Well, let's say two hours. But how much effort and how much time do you have to put in to, to, to make that play happen or to make that movie happen? I'm going to bet you're going to put in probably 150 hours into that movie or 150 hours into that play all so that the last two hours the audience can enjoy it. Think of it like this. G1, S phase, G2, that's all the preparation phase. All that stuff is interface. All of that is in, this preparing uh, for that big play, the big production, or that movie. And then finally, M phase, that's where the audience gets to enjoy it. That tiny little sliver, that's where the, actually the cell is dividing. Anyway, in my next focus, we're going to focus on what's actually happening in cell division. Uh, this is Mr. Herbst here, and I'm signing off, folks. You all have a nice day.